YouTube. I wanted to do a very quick video today. I ran into a problem um, where, here, let me go ahead and show this to you. There was a game that I wanted to play, as I know online, and it's a Flash-based game. Um, will not let me to play it. If I tried to play it in Arch Linux with Firefox, in my version, and I go to play it, and it gives me this. It gives me a Flash error message. You run into this problem a lot, and that's because um, Arch Linux does not use the latest version of Flash. It is no longer supported by Adobe. So, you're, you're kind of screwed. Kind of. Um, if you're running into problems with Flash um, through uh, Arch Linux, I would recommend trying something else. Um, what you'll want to do is, is try to run it through Wine. Now, what is Wine? Wine is a program, and, and, and the people at Wine HQ are very adamant about this, so I'm going to mention this. Wine is not a Windows emulator, although it is a program that allows you to run Windows programs in Linux. Okay? So most people, and if you need to know more about Wine, just do, do a Google search. There's tons of, of videos on YouTube about it, and Spatry, in particular, uh, knows quite a bit about Wine as well, and he's put up several videos covering wine, although that is, I believe, is for Ubuntu. Um, but you, you might check out his site. He's got a really a lot of really good information that will apply. Um, uh, here's how you get wine. Um, sudo pacman-s wine, wine tricks, and q4 wine. I would recommend this. This last one is not um, absolutely imperative. I use it because it's a nice little GUI. Um, install those. And that will get get you Wine installed on your uh, Linux box. Now, what's it look like? It looks like this. This is, again, the graphical user interface. Um, you're going to want to come over to Setup and go to DLLs, which is your um, drivers. Scroll down, and you'll see a flash driver right here. Install that um, before you do anything else. So install Wine, um, and then install your flash plugins. Um, and then, and you can also look under setup down through here, especially the this folder, the DLLs, or the drivers folder, um, to find pretty much anything you need. So a program will usually tell you what it needs, and you just go install it from here, um, usually. Now, it, it get, Wine gets a lot more complicated, but we'll cover Wine in future videos. Uh, for now, this is all you need. So go ahead and, and get, again, Wine installed, and go ahead and get the Flash plugin installed. And then you're going to want to come here, which is mozilla.org, um, and it's uh, actually slash Firefox will bring you here. Um, you're going to want to click on this link, download a fresh copy, um, and it will bring you to this page. Now, this page actually has, uh, what's great is it has all the different versions of Firefox that you can download. And you're going to want to download the one for Windows. Okay, download it. And once you've got it downloaded, it will be an EXE. Okay, here, I'll go ahead and click on one. It doesn't really matter. But I'll go ahead and click on one. And you'll see it'll say Firefox Setup 26.exe. Now, I, I just picked the first one. You're going to want to pick the correct language, obviously. And there's English, U.S. down here for those of us in the States. But you'll notice this is an EXE file. Go ahead and download that and save it in a location. Make sure you know where the location is. And then open it up. Um, it should, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, but it should give you the opportunity or the option to open it in Wine. And if it doesn't, right click on it and go to Open With and type in Wine. And then it will open it and actually install it in your Wine drive. Okay? And once you have it installed in Wine, you can actually open it, okay? Um, here, I'll, uh, I'll show you where to locate it. I'm going to run this over here. This is my home page, okay? Um, go to your user settings, and then what you'll have to do is in here, here, I'll, I'll have to show you. Um, you're going to have to go to control up here and click on show hidden files, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to see the folder you need to get into. Then you'll find this folder, Wine, then you click on it, 
and it'll bring you in here. After, after you've got it installed, it's going to be in your drive, in your C drive, um, programs x86, and then you go over here to Microsoft, or Mozilla Firefox. Um, go down here, and it's firefox.exe. If you click on that, it will open up a version of Firefox that is running in Wine. And from here, you know, it will actually allow you to go ahead and play. Okay, see how it's loading? Now, this is going to cut off my audio once the game loads, but I'll show it to you and then, and then close it off. But you see, it is actually running. We're not getting that error message. So I'll wait for this to load, and I'm only going to leave it up for a second because, again, it cuts my audio off. But there is sound and everything else in the game. There. Now you can see that the game actually did open up. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions or comments, um, please shoot them, shoot them to me no matter what it is. Uh, like and rate, you know, and, and subscribe. Um, I appreciate you watching. Again, I look forward to hearing from you, and have a great one until next time.